Good day guys, welcome to the next video in the series of IGCSE Maths Curriculum. Now in the previous video guys, I taught you guys the basics of algebraic indices or the loss of exponents. Now in this video, we'll be looking towards more difficult questions when it comes to the loss of exponents. Now let's get to it guys. So guys, if you don't know how to solve algebraic indices, I will highly suggest you to go to my previous video for the basics of the loss of exponent so you get a better understanding in this video. All right guys, so in question number one, what we are going to do is we are going to be using law number one. All right guys, so two multiplied by four is going to give us eight, right? Now a square multiplied by a to the power of through using law number one we are going to have a to the power of two plus three right guys multiplied with excuse me multiplied with b to the power of one plus two right guys b to the power of one plus two and the final answer what we have is eight a to the power of five and b to the power of three all right guys now keep in mind that whenever you see just a variable by itself that means it is raised to the power of one here's where many students make mistakes and instead of writing b to the power of three they'll write it as b to the power of two all right guys so don't be one of them and don't make those silly mistakes now going to question number two so as we see here guys first we see that there is a raised to the power of three in the second one so that means that we are going to use the third law and we will be breaking this exponential value first so the first bracket will stay the same so we have four m to the power of two n to the power of two multiplied with so all of these inside guys will be raised to the power of three so we would have two to the power of three multiplied with m to the power of three multiplied with n to the power of 3 and this one raised to the power of 3 all right guys in these kind of questions it is always good to do step by step so we won't make any careless mistakes now let's go to the next step so we would have 4 m square n square multiplied with 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 and here is also where many students make careless mistakes such as 2 to the power of 3 they will write it as 6 instead of 8 so try not to be one of them guys all right and this multiplied with m to the power of 3 and multiplied with n to the power of 9 right guys n to the power of 3 to the power of 3 is n to the power of 3 times 3 which is n to the power of 9 now we are at our final step where we can first start off with multiplying the numbers. So 4 times 8 is going to give us 32, right guys? m square multiplied by m cube is going to give us m to the power of 2 plus 3. And then n square times n to the power of 9 is going to give us n to the power of 2 plus 9. Alright guys? And the final answer would be 32, m raised to the power of 5 and n raised to the power of 11 all right guys now for question number three i suggest you to click on the pause button try and solve it by yourself guys and come back and see that if you have done it properly all right now let's go ahead and break the exponential value first so what we have here is we have 6 to the power of 2 x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 and y to the power of 4 to the power of 2 right guys so everything inside the first bracket will be raised to the power of 2 multiplied with 2 to the power of 3 x to the power of 3 and y to the power of 3 and all of this over 12 x to the power of 6 and y to the power of 8 all right guys now let's break this exponential value now 6 to the power of 2 is going to give us 36 x squared raised to the power of 2 is going to give us x to the power of 4 and y to the power of 4 to the power of 2 is going to give us y to the power of 8 right guys multiplied with 2 to the power of 3 is 8 x cube and y cube and all of this over 12 x to the power of 6 and y to the power of 8 
Now, when we reach to this uh, place, guys, there are many ways we can solve it. Now, the first way could be we can maybe simplify the numbers if we want, which would make it that much easier, right? So 12 and 36 can simplify. So 12 change to 1 and 36 will change to 3, right, guys? So what we have here, now we can start off by multiplying the numerator first, okay? So 3 multiplied by 8 would give us 24, right? And x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 3 is going to give us x to the power of 4 plus 3, which is x to the power of 7. And y to the power of 8 times y to the power of 3 will give us y to the power of 8 plus 3, which is y to the power of 11, right guys? And all of this over x to the power of 6 and y to the power of 8. Now we are almost finished, right guys? So if we take a look at it, we have x and x as the same base and y and y as the same base. So what we can do is, and since they are dividing, we can use the second law, right guys? So we'd have 24 x to the power of 7 minus 6 and y to the power of 11 minus 8. All right, guys. And the final answer would be 24 x raised to the power of 1. We can just write it as x and y to the power of 3. And that would be our final answer, guys. Now, if you did enjoy this video, guys, do not forget to hit on that like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future maths videos. Now, until next time, guys, have a nice day.